Welcome, Croiso, back to the Cumbria Nerd Cave. Hope you're all doing okay. We've made it. We have made it. It is day 24. It is Christmas Eve, and all is good in the world. Kinda. Um, but we do have the last day of the advent calendars to do, so uh, yeah, everything's good. Let's do it. Kevin the Carrot. Finally. Uh, day 24. It's, it's obvious. It's that one. Um, big one, big chocolate today. Let's see what we've got. Is it a carrot? It is, but it is a full carrot. It is the full. Now, is that the ghost? That's the ghost, isn't it? On the adverts, if you actually see, that's the ghost of Christmas, whatever, the ghost of Christmas. So I'm guessing that's what that is. And uh, with it being day 24, well, there we are. Look, Santa or Father Christmas. Father Christmas because you know it's it's Christmas so that's fair enough isn't it um, we've got another big window on uh, day 24 on the solar system and it's it's basically covering up the earth so let's crack her open so in the observable universe there are an estimated two trillion galaxies and two trillion looks like that and of course that's the observable universe we know that there's uh, there's way more to the universe than what we can see um, so that's very very cool and uh, the final piece of chocolate there nice big thick piece of chocolate liking it Merry Christmas Merry Christmas think of eternity <laughs> love it um, day 24 now then we said yesterday I think that's Marty I think it's Marty in here uh, 1885 rather than 1955 let's have a look oh we got it's a figure and yeah it's marty marty mcfly with his uh bulletproof vest on his stove cover and his brown more authentic 19 sorry 1885 clothes there we are well we'll kit him out in the stuff that we got yesterday making sure he hasn't got anything else that's hiding in there and i don't think he does excellent stuff so sonic tiny little window it's up there look there look and it's well we think it's his nose don't we let's get in there and see it is indeed his nose gonna be very careful with this one very very careful look here yeah. that's what it is his little nose so I'm gonna put that somewhere very safe over there where I'm not gonna knock it and lose it because that would be gutting wouldn't it now then where are we dear number 24 dear number 24 down here can you see it's it's Father Christmas isn't it it's it's Santa it's who it is it's a minifigure I'm not gonna look at it until I actually look at it the baggy there it's it's Father Christmas isn't it and it is indeed Father Christmas with not a ray gun. I'm guessing that's a loud hailer. So I'm guessing it isn't actually Father Christmas. And I did notice up here that it does give you a, a, like a key to all the characters. So it's it's Fenric. I don't think it's supposed to be actually Father Christmas. I think it's supposed to be like a, a, a Santa on a street corner kind of thing. Um, you got Betty the, the Thief, I think it's supposed to be. Shirley the Keeper. Park keeper, I'm guessing. I think it's all supposed to take place in a park. So uh, Sam Grizzled. So that is quite clearly that's Ron Swanson, isn't it? Sam, who's a grizzled worker, is, is kind. Of Bob the Fireman, nice. And Top Hat Tom. And then it basically just trolls you by telling you that that's the figure you're getting. So well, past a certain point, you know you're getting him. But anyway, brilliant. And it's going to be a mini figure for this, isn't it? Star Wars. I would be very surprised if it isn't. It's it's Santalorian. Eh? See? Santalorian, I reckon. Is it Dinjarin? It is. Sorry, I, I looked by mistake. But we knew it was. We knew it was him, because we'd not had him yet. It's like the fifth Mandalorian Lego figure that I've got. There we go. But it's Mandalorian with a scarf. 
Santalorian, like I say. And uh, yeah, look, here is Mandalorian with a nice scarf. Lovely stuff. So that's that's it. Um, I guess I better go build and make and do all that good stuff and then come back here in a couple of minutes and show it all off for you guys. So uh, the dogs are excited. Um, I'll be back in a couple of seconds. Bye bye, Philip. Welcome back. Thanks for uh, thanks for waiting there. Well, it's all built now. It's all built. It's all done. So we will we will go to Playmobil first. And we will show you Marty with all his accoutrement on. And he, he looks rather good. He's got his uh, little belt on underneath his poncho. I think that's how it's supposed to go. And he's got his hat. It's the one that Seamus gave him. And it's, uh, it's not Marty McFly at all, is it? That's Clint Eastwood. <laughs> that's, that's what he calls himself in the film. That's Clint. Mr. Eastwood. Brilliant. Love that. I think that's fantastic. I really am a big fan of that. Uh, next up, we've got uh, Santa. Oh, is it? It's not Santa. It's uh, Friedrich or whatever his name is. So uh, that's pretty cool. What's also cool is he's got stuff on the back as well. A little candy cane sticking out. So he's uh, not really Santa Claus as such. He's the Santa Claus that stands on a street corner and uh, asks for money and stuff. He's got little glasses on and everything. Really like that. Really very nice way to, to end the Lego City calendar, which has been very good this year. Been great, very good. I think it's only been a couple of clunkers. And uh, it's the same with uh, the old uh, Mandalorian there. Who is carrying? He's got a uh, good old Grogu in the uh, papoose. That's very nice, isn't it? He's got his little scarf on that you can see. So he's definitely the Christmas version rather than the version that you're supposed to sort of display with your uh, Razor Crest. But that's very nice. Again, there's been a couple of... I, I'm not so keen on the bases. The bases are a bit rubbish because they're very oblique, basically, and I'm not a big fan of that. But, um, look, for the price you pay for it, you're getting all that Lego in it. You can't really complain, I guess. Uh, and the minifigures are always sweet. They've always been really good. And the little ships have been of a really high standard this year. Really well done to Lego for that. Like they care what I think. Um, last but certainly not least, not in any way, shape or form, is Sonic. He is finished. He has his nose and he's pointing in the air on his snowboard and he's a big old heavy statue of a thing and it's bloody awesome. Just to give you an idea of how bloody massive this thing is, there's the minifigure of Santa and there's the statue. It's, you know, I don't know if this is going to be a thing that they always do with these statues. I would like to see another one next year. Maybe Tails or maybe Knuckles or something like that. That would be pretty cool uh, rather than Sonic. But um, we will have to see. Maybe Knuckles will be really popular after the movie. So maybe. Let's, let's hope so. But uh, if not, then this has been a resounding success and I'm very happy to have it. Um, really well done. But uh, that is uh, that is it for this year. That is Advent Calendar Apocalypse over. Um, all that remains is to say that I wish every one of you uh, a really happy Christmas and a Merry New Year. And uh, yeah, you, we might see you in the interim before the year's out for a bit of football or something like that. But um, in the meantime, do take care of yourselves and each other. Remember, be careful out there. Bye bye for now.